On this James the Bike Guy, we're taking a look at the brand new 2020 Trek Fuel EX5. This is a newly updated and totally redesigned fuel for the 2020 model year. And we're going to go over all of the features, design, and of course what changed from the previous model of Trek's do-it-all trail bike, the Trek Fuel EX8. But before we get started, be sure to hit the subscribe button. That way you can see more videos like this into the future. The Trek Fuel has been one of the best selling trail bikes of all the full suspension mountain bikes out there. And it's really neat when Trek goes ahead and does a full on redesign because the Fuel has been their model that really allows all mountain bike riders to be able to have fun on one bike. It's the kind of bike that if you were looking for just one bike to be able to do pretty much any trail out there, uh, this would be able to do that. And the recipe for the 2020 model is not that much different. In fact, it's a 130 travel in the rear and 140 millimeters of travel up front, which has been the way that the Trek fuel has been for many years. But Trek has done a lot to the geometry of this bike to make it more capable than previous generations. But before we get into that, the fuel series comes in both aluminum and carbon. And so in this case, being a Fuel EX8, this is an aluminum frame. And in fact, this is gonna be Trex Alpha Platinum Aluminum. So this is all internally cable routed using what they call their Control Freak cable routing system. And it's gonna have partially smooth welds. And it's just a really nice looking, fully manipulated aluminum frame. And it even runs a magnesium rocker link for lighter weight and a single piece construction. Now the EX8 indicates that it's aluminum and if it had a nine point number that would indicate that it's the carbon fiber version of the frame. And in this case the 8 means that the bike's going to be coming with a SRAM GX Eagle drivetrain. So that's of course a 10 to 50 tooth rear cassette the Eagle rear derailleur, which is one by specific. And then it runs through a dub descendant 6K crank set, which uses a dub spindle that goes through a 92 millimeter press fit bottom bracket. While we're here though, you'll actually see one of the first major differences between the 2019 and the 2020 model. So the lower shock link actually is fixed on this bike. In most Trek models, it used to come off of the seat stay in what they used to call their full floater technology, which allowed a little more bottom out resistance, a little more performance out of the suspension of the bike. But Trek claims that with the upgrades and shock technology, they can adjust the geometry of the suspension to make it more effective by having a fixed lower mount like on this bike. Now, the other thing you'll notice on the back of the bike is you'll actually see what Trek calls their minnow link. This is actually a spot where on the magnesium rocker link you can adjust the distance that the seat stay attaches to the rocker link which allows you to adjust the geometry by half a degree high or low. And that geometry is really where the differences of the 2020 version of this bike come in. So the 2020 over the 2019 has gotten a lot longer and slacker, which allows this to be a much better trail bike and descend even better than the generation before. But it also allows the bike to climb better. And that's because by being longer and slacker, they're actually able to get that seat tube angle to be 75 and a half degrees or 77 degrees in the low position which is going to give you a much better position for climbing. They're going to lengthen the reach of this bike and they've also slackened the head tube to where this is now 66 and a half degrees in high and 66 degrees in low on the head tube angle. But if you just slack the head tube angle and you don't correct the fork, it'll actually make the bike pretty floppy. And so it's nice to see that Trek is actually running a 44 millimeter offset which is a lower offset than the 2019 version of this bike. And that's going to allow the steering to be even more precise, especially with that slacker head tube angle. So up front, they're running a Fox Rhythm 34 fork. This has the Evolve air spring, a grip damper, of course, a tapered inch and a half to inch and an eighth steer tube, and the 140 millimeters of travel that's connected 
to the front wheel via a 15 by 110 through axle. And then for wheels, this is running Von Trager's Line Comp 30, which is a very nice, high quality aluminum 30 millimeter wide wheel set. And in fact, in the back on the 12 by 148 boost hub, it actually has 54 tooth engagement rear hub. And the rear hub can be upgraded to 108 teeth of engagement with a pretty inexpensive Paul set, an extra three Pauls. And I have a link down in the description on how you actually do that. Now, of course, they still run their ABP style suspension. So it's a concentric bearing where the through axle actually goes through the chain stay and the seat stay of the bike. And the performance of this bike should be incredible. Another incredible thing for 2020 is of course their new 29 by 2.6 inch tires. These things in person are huge. You know, it almost looks like it's plus size, but you've got that 29er diameter. And the new Bontrager XR4 Team Issue tires are a very gummy and very durable tire with their inner strength sidewall casing and 120 TPI tires. So I think this is gonna be a really nice tire to be mounted up on the bike. Now for a saddle, you've got Bontrager's standard Arvada saddle, which is perfectly adequate. And then it's gonna be running Bontrager's line dropper post. So this is a 31.6 dropper post. It's got a one by style lever on the left-hand side of the handlebar. And it's gonna be a nice setup, especially with the internal cable routing. Now, as we go through the frame, you'll notice that the down tube of the frame is incredibly straight. And this is actually what they call a straight shot down tube. It allows for additional stiffness in the front end of the bike. But what they end up needing to do is protect the down tube because it's so straight that the fork crown could theoretically come in contact as the bars spin around. So Trek uses something called a knock block in the front end. What that allows for is in the headset, it's a mechanical lock to keep the handlebar from twisting around. At first, when you look at the bike in a store, it's gonna feel a little funky to have that on the front end of the bike, but out on the trail, you never notice it. And what it really allows for is the bars can never spin around, contact the frame, and it also keeps your cables from getting messed up should you get into a crash. Now on the front end of the bike, it's also gonna run Bontrager's line 35 millimeter stem. So this is a 35 millimeter clamp on the stem. And then it's gonna run Bontrager's line alloy 35 millimeter bar with a 27 and a half millimeter rise. So this is also gonna give that good upright position, which is gonna make the bike really comfortable and nice to ride. As far as brakes, this is running Shimano's Deor M6000 brake set, which is a mineral oil brake set. It has really nice feel and I think will be a great setup on this bike. So now that we've taken a look at the 2020 version of the Trek Fuel EX8, let's go ahead and find out what it weighs. The actual weight on the 2020 Trek Fuel EX8 in a size medium large comes in and weighs 31.11 pounds. Well, thanks for watching this video on the 2020 Trek Fuel EX8. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And while you're at it, push that thumbs up button. It lets me know you enjoyed the video.